hi thank you so much for clicking on the video and happy spring Woohoo! today is the first day of spring which means that today is the summer uh, <laughs> the spring solstice which means that today every place on earth will have a day that is 12 hours and the night that is 12 hours so cool eh and also uh, today this the polar day starts in on the North Pole so this is so cool I was just like looking up stuff so for six months the uh, in the North Pole there has been no Sun because it's been the polar night because you know like if this is the Sun and this is Earth then the Earth was tilted like this so it was rotating and tilted but like on this uh, spot the North North Pole uh, the Sun never rose but now the axis is rotating like this right now it's like this and then it's gonna go like this which means that the North Pole is gonna have Sun for six months straight the Sun is never gonna set that is so cool so they will have the solar day and then oh it's so windy today okay the spring was supposed to start I don't believe that it sounds like a conspiracy to me because I was here at 11 36 no 37 and there has been no change I don't see the spring <laughs> uh, but basically today if you would be on the North Pole today that you would see the Sun come on the horizon and it would stay on the horizon the whole day but it would not even go up uh, the change in the angle is 0 0.39 uh, degrees so it's like it's basically just like going around and then it will start going a little bit more up and more up every day and for six months they're gonna see the sun uh, but can you imagine like okay there are not uh, been anyone living there but if you would live there you would have not seen the sun for six months and now the sun will be up for six months but in uh, in Finland up north uh, you know th because the axis is rotating soon uh, not soon but like uh, uh, I should have looked it up before but there will be a uh, um, summer polar, a polar day soon uh, in a month maybe I don't know uh, in uh, the summer solstice in June uh, will be the lightest hour so it will start getting lighter every day now so today it will be 12 hours of daylight and then it will uh, increase every day uh, so cool I don't know I just want to t uh, tell you about it and 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 yeah every place on earth has 12 hours of uh, light and 12 hours of night today so cool well anyways i hope you guys are having a uh, cool spring solstice and that you will have an awesome spring even though maybe in some places it doesn't look like <laughs> like the spring has arrived um okay so uh i'm having um relapse of my Lyme disease symptoms so I haven't been able to go outside and uh, photograph or film anything from the nature um, I've just been in my bed <laughs> basically uh, for a few days and 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 today but today I'm feeling better so I wanted to make a video and show the cool stuff that Finnish people are doing in the winter uh, because there are so many cool things um, but uh, today is also Saturday so we're gonna go ahead and go this is actually a sauna so we're gonna go inside and light up the sauna so we're gonna talk about the sauna and all the other cool stuff people are doing on the ice and yeah let's go it's a little bit windy here so maybe the sound will be better if you go inside Can you see this? <laughs> it's a bit cold in here. 
So this uh, sauna doesn't have any heat. Okay, first of all, before I go any further, someone called me out on that and I need to like, I need to get myself together. I keep saying sauna, but it's sauna, sound. We say it in Estonian sound. They say, uh, Finnish people I think say sauna. But I keep saying sauna like uh, like the American people or English speak speakers say it, but it's not sauna, it's sauna. <laughs> we are inside of a, of a traditional wood sauna. So this one is heated by wood, obviously, but there is also um, there is also a electric sauna that you electric sauna that <laughs> ah, this will gonna take a while that you use uh, that you use electricity electricity to heat the uh, stones and the room and then there is also a smoke sauna smoke sauna sauna <sighs> that uh, doesn't have a chimney so I've been to a smoke sauna actually and it's quite cool so basically uh, the uh, the wood is burning and the smoke goes out through the door so there is no chimney and then the whole uh, inside room uh, has this very strong smoke uh, smell that I think is really good and then uh, once the uh, room is uh, the right temperature temp I can't speak today temperature then um, they will uh, take the fire out and then the stones that this is the whole point of sauna that the stones get hot and then the stones heat the room and uh, then you take water and you throw lail, leila, lail, we say lail in Estonian, uh, you throw the water on the hot stones and the steam comes out and it makes the room hotter uh, and it makes uh, it more moist as well. Actually like the sauna is like, sauna is so crazy in Finland because uh, because they are like really, really serious about it. <laughs> and I mean, Estonians also have sauna, but but they don't uh, go as hard <laughs> as the Finnish people. So over here is over, there are over two million saunas, two million. <laughs> they say that there are more saunas than there are cars. I'm not sure if it's still right, but they have it everywhere. And I really saw it because in Estonia, usually you don't have sauna in apartments. Uh, but here they have it in the apartments as well, so but usually the electric ones which are not as good for some people Most people prefer the wood sa sauna uh, It's more like authentic and, and the better you get better lail <laughs> uh, Lailo, lailo, is that how they say it? Ah. Sorry if I say it wrong um, But okay, somebody was telling me this was so fascinating to me about the vocabulary they have this is how hard they go. They have a whole list of names of words um, associated with sauna. So they have, they have a word, <laughs> listen to me, okay. They have a word for a run that you may uh, go for before the sauna, sauna lenki. And then they have a word for the sauna that you take, sauna, that you take after the run, <laughs> which is lenki sauna. And then they have a word, okay, maybe I'm not pronouncing them right, right, but I just read the words. And then they have a word for a sausage that you eat in the sauna. And then, okay, this is my favorite. They have a word for a coffee that you drink after the sauna. <laughs> Whoa, this shows how serious they are about it. <laughs> That's really funny. I'm like wondering if all my like breath is coming through the lens and you can't actually see anything. It is minus degrees inside right now. It is starting to heat up slowly, but we will heat it up to like 60 or 70 because it's so cold outside that it doesn't get any warmer um, right now in the winter. But <sighs> okay, and also I have to uh, I have to show you the sauna twenty. <laughs> sauna twenty is a very important feature here. So let me just go and grab him or her. Not sure. This is our sauna dointi and sauna dointi is like a sauna coast or sauna soul and basically you have to treat the sauna soul really nicely or otherwise uh, your sauna might burn down. <laughs> so, okay, people used to heat up the sauna, sauna only for 
the sauna, don't they? So they would heat it up just for him or her. And uh, that's crazy. <laughs> and they would leave food for him or her. Uh, and um, and it, it was believed in the old times that uh, uh, he's protecting the sauna and the people in it. But if you don't treat him nice, like for example, if you do something that you're not supposed to do in the sauna, sauna for example, you sleep here or you play games here, then uh, the sauna 20 will not be uh, okay with you. <laughs> and uh, he might burn down your sauna. Sauna. <laughs> okay, anyone has any cool stories about the sauna 20? Let me know because actually we don't have... Uh, we, I, I read it that we have it in Estonia, but I didn't know we have it, so like it's not that common. But over here, it seems that it's... Uh, wow, where did my voice go? <coughs> over here, it seems like it's a really in, in important uh, character. So let me know if you have any stories about the sauna 20. Um, okay, the only reason that we were actually <coughs> heating the sauna is because um, <laughs> I want to eat pistachios in peace. <laughs> we have some pistachio monsters in the house so every time I even do this sound they are behind my back in one second and they will steal all my pistachios so I'm actually just gonna eat my pistachios and share them with sauna don't they? <laughs> Anyways, um, okay I have to talk about one thing because it is the coolest thing that I know so there is this thing here which is so crazy to me and so cool I'm like you know, like I love nature and I love everything um, that is um, uh, associated with nature, you know, and uh, we are right by the river right now and there is this thing, the river is frozen, it's really thick layer of ice and there is this thing here that um, the ice sings or makes the craziest sounds and it happens when the temperature drops really fast. Uh, so, for example, right now it was yesterday. It was really sunny outside. So the sun is like starting to heat up the ice and the snow on it and melt the snow. And uh, and and then it dropped like after the sunrise, the temperature dropped like 10 degrees. So it was minus 16 degrees at night. And that creates so much tension in the ice because the temperature changes so fast that there is a tension that needs to be re released somehow and so the ice breaks and it makes the craziest sound like I have never experienced that I've heard of it before but I only heard about it uh, last uh, year and, and I was I have been looking at from the videos, but I never experienced it for myself And it is so cool like literally like I wanted to like walk on the ice the whole night yesterday because it is just like It is such a deep voice when when it cracks and it, it is like the colder it gets the more intense it gets and it more It's more like it happens all the time and then sometimes when you walk you also like uh, create some tension or something breaks so like you can also like um, just by walking you can make it like uh, happen and it is so cool like I try to record it I'm not sure if uh, if it is good or not but like uh, It is literally the coolest sound I know and it is also like super spooky because like it feels like the ice is breaking under your feet and you're gonna fall in <laughs> so it's like it's like a combination of being super spooky and super cool because it's such a low rumbling voice that it comes from like deep beneath you and I, I and it's just like never experienced it before but it is so cool so I'm just like so excited when I can experience something new in my life and if it's like anything to do with nature I'm like ah, I could literally like if it wasn't minus 16 degrees I would have I don't know put a tent on the ice and sleep there <laughs> just to sleep in that voice it's such a cool voice uh, or sound <sighs> but anyways what I've been up to also 
the, the, I feel like the river is like the community center <laughs> in Finland because in Finland there are over like 10, no, 100,000 lakes, even more, and, and also so many rivers. So like people go on the ice because the ice is so thick. They go on the ice to do all kind of stuff. So for example, people go on to walk on the rivers, they go to ski on the rivers, they go to ice skate on the rivers, they go ice fishing, they go to uh, drive with the car on the rivers to do like rally, like to really go really fast. It's so much fun. Like our neighbor's neighbor is a former racer, and he does that, and they go fast. Okay, I'm I'm just like I'm not gonna be close to watch this, but it is so cool. Uh, but I've been going. Uh, I've been going to skate. Uh, I never knew how to skate. Uh, like I've been skate. I think I skated one time in my life when I was really little. Uh, so like I really wa I've really been wanting to do it, but I don't know why I haven't done it. But now I went. Uh, to, uh, I bought myself some new skates, so cool, like old school skates from I don't know, 1980s maybe. <laughs> Delta Pro, <laughs> they look so cool. And I went there, uh, I bought them, and then I go and try. It, and oh my god, it! I'm, I was having so much fun. Like I, to be honest, ever since I stopped playing professional basketball. I haven't wanted to work out. I, I would never go for a run or go to work out. Also probably because of my Lyme disease, but but uh, but yesterday I put on the skates and I just went on the river and it was so much fun. I was having so much fun and, and I was really enjoying it. But I mean, it is like working out as well. So it is kind of hard, but like that was one of the first times I was really feeling happy to work out. And, and to move and and I was really like enjoying it so much and the sun was so bright that you're moving and you're getting really hot even though it is minus degrees uh, so I even like take off my jacket and just like go on the river and it, 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 it was really sad to me that the sun was setting so that I couldn't go any further so there is this thing we call it in Estonia the Finnish sledge but the Finnish call it potkukelka, but it is a kick sledge. So basically, uh, I've been just taking the kick sledge and going on the river to walk with Jack every morning. And, and it is so much fun because you can go so fast if you go on the, on the ice. And they also have like kick sledge races in Finland. I am, uh, I am uh, training every morning with Jack <laughs> to, to participate in it. It, it look it's so so much fun because you can move so fast like uh, when they do the kicks uh, kick sledge races the average speed is 30 kilometers per hour uh, so it can go really fast and and right now it's so the ice is so smooth that it's so slippery that uh, uh, that it, 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 it's really hard like I drove <laughs> off track yesterday I fell because it, it's so slippery that it even like slides like sideways which is usually not, but the ice is just so smooth. But anyways, I'm just like, I never tried the kick sledge either, but I have like an old one and uh, we borrowed it from somebody, but maybe it is not uh, tall enough for me because I'm so tall, but I'm having so much fun with it. And uh, it's so much better because now I can just go with Jack because usually I'm the slow one and now Jack, Jack always has to wait for me, but now like Jack can get really good exercise out of it. Okay, and uh, oh yes, it is getting uh, warmer here, so we have to go out because otherwise the camera is not gonna be good if we go outside anymore. Um, but we have to. I want to show you one thing uh, that Finnish people do in the uh, winter that is uh, really cool. So let me go grab my stuff that I need for it and grab check, and then let's go on the ice. Okay. So one thing that <laughs> Hi Jack. Hi Jack. <laughs> Jack. 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 
has a hot spot on his paw, so he has to wear the coat and he does not like it. Checko, checko! <laughs> what I want to say is that one thing that the Finnish people... The good thing is that he can't fight me with this. <laughs> so one thing you can do in Finland is that you can go ice fishing. And it's so much fun. So you, you just use this drill to cut a hole in the ice. So let me just do it. I'm almost to. Yep. Check. So you got the hole and then you just start fishing. So the ice was like this long, right? This is how thick the ice is from here to here. <laughs> Crazy. Check us that to the is that the east to Jack East Sia? Jack Sia. East to Squeeze. Check East to Squeeze. East to Squeeze. Check East Squeeze. <laughs> so this is actually um, <laughs> I think a lot of people uh, don't go to fish to get fish but to uh, <laughs> get away from home and to drink maybe <laughs> but I'm trying to get the fish because uh, we uh, one day we got this very big fish uh, it was a pike that was like over five kilos and uh, we got to eat from that like three days <laughs> so it's actually kind of cool when you get the fish and I hear that the uh, Finnish people don't really like the pike to eat the pike uh, but I think the pike is such a good tasting fish so I don't understand why I really like it uh, but it's so crazy the ice is so thick here and then when you put this thing in you can see that the flow of the water there is such a um, big flow underneath the ice you wouldn't even think and and it starts to like drift away uh, drift away uh, uh, the uh, thing that you're putting inside the water I don't know what's called but um, I heard you have to do like this I don't know I'm not really a professional but uh, but uh, we did get some fish and uh, there are so many rivers and lakes so I, I think it's fun I, I'm I kind of want to go on a fishing trip uh, we'll see if I can go if uh, if I'm feeling better with my lime uh, but that's definitely a bucket list to like go like uh, and camp maybe and then try to catch the fish from the river and eat it and like like cook it on the fire but right, right now I just wanted to show you how there it's done like it's really basic but they have like different they can even put like nets they can put nets, uh, they can make two holes and then put a net between the holes. I, I saw like a video or uh, read about how Sami people used to like back even like really back back in the days used to like use the nets and and to catch all the salmon and stuff and uh, yeah but uh, I will try for a little bit and then I have to go back because I have to add some more wood to the sauna. Uh, sauna. <sighs> okay, the sauna sauna is ready. It's 80 degrees inside and oh, it is so nice. It is snowing and it's so windy outside and cold. And to go inside the sauna where it's like 80 degrees and then come out. Oh, this is heaven. This is like literally like so cozy and so nice to be inside of that room and then it's like so nice to come out as well ah! so now what people do is that they go and jump into the snow or they also have like they make a hole in the ice and go ice swimming but i'm not feeling that adventurous today so i'm just gonna go and run in the snow and ah, yay so winter in finland is fun they have so many winter activities that you can do that like make you forget that it's so cold and dark 
and it's not even that dark anymore. 12 hours today, right? Uh, and also it's not winter anymore. <laughs> so we're saying goodbye to winter and and yeah, I mean, so many things to do. I uh, definitely like need to experience more because there are so many other things that I haven't done. For example, the husky ride and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, this will be sometime next uh, in the next video. So now I'm gonna go run because I'm getting cold actually. So thank you for watching. Uh, wait, one more thing. I said sauna 20, but it's actually sauna 20. It's not you, E. It's not I. It's you. It's not. It's not you, babe. It's me. It's it's sauna doing though. Anyways, okay. Let's go. So I'm here editing. <clears throat> okay. First of all, can we talk about this mug? They sell it everywhere in Lapland, but they are the most uncomfortable mugs. Or do I have little too too big too big fingers? I feel like there should be another one third maybe. <laughs> but anyways, I'm drinking my sauna coffee. <laughs> no. I just want to say the word, it's actually water. It's sauna water. <laughs> but anyways, I want to say, somebody told me that I used the word wrong. The little thing that lives in sauna, sauna, pergala, sauna is sauna tonto. Did I get it right? Sauna tonto, sauna tonto. Not sauna tonti, not sauna tondu, sauna tonto, sauna tonto. <laughs> if anybody is uh, figuring how is my Finnish learning going, hey, it ain't sue you. <laughs> All right, cheers.